And, uh, today I'm going to show you how to make or modify an existing shipping template inside Amazon. This is suitable when you're doing fulfillment by merchant while selling on Amazon. So you want to go to settings and you want to go to shipping settings. It'll take you to the screen. You're going to have a migrated template that's already been set up by Amazon. Uh, and you can just simply actually edit the template. And you will see some things over here, some ways that you can offer shipping on your item. The first one is per item or weight base. So it's basically, uh, as it explains, it's per item or weight. So if you're shipping, uh, if you have something that uh, is $25, including free shipping, that's per item. If it's, uh, sorry, if it's band, price banded, that means that let's just say if they order over $50, you offer them free shipping. This is the option that you want to use. Uh, you also have very clearly domestic shipping. I set it up as standard shipping. All my shipping is set as free, but you can obviously change it over here. I only have shipping at five bucks an order for Alaska, Hawaii, and Puerto Rico because they're more expensive for me to ship to, but I build in shipping to all my products, to all these states, and I charge at zero. The transit time depends on which courier you're using, so you wanna modify that accordingly. But generally, I put four to eight days just to give me some cushion. Similarly, if I was offering expedited two-day or one-day shipping, I would make these options available. For my products, I don't have them available because I don't want to be dinged on late delivery from Amazon, so I just keep it on the safe side and offer standard shipping. That usually works out best for me. I also have international shipping set up for mine. So I have Canada region at $5 an order. It takes seven to 14 days. This is excluding handling time. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna show you how to modify our handling time as well. Uh, of course, these countries over here are five bucks an order as well. And Australia and New Zealand are 750 in order at 10 to 20 days transit time, excluding handling time. So generally handling time is set at one or two days inside uh, Amazon's migrated template, which is right here. And as you can see over here, this is the default handling time. However, if your listings take longer than one or two days, what you want to do is uh, modify the handling time inside your listing and offer inside uh, Seller Central. When you go to your Manage Inventory, you can edit the listing. I'll show you how to do this in the next video. Uh, but for now, that's the basically the gist of how I have my shipping templates set up. I use the same shipping template for all my items, so that's uh, just easier for me to manage in that sense. But if you have over here, like for example, I created a template for, uh, I was gonna sell joggers, so uh, again, I offer free shipping, so that's how it is set up over here for me. And uh, very similarly, I have the same prices for everything because that's my shipping cost. You have to keep in mind your shipping cost. You can either do it two ways. Either you can charge for shipping on top of the product cost to make your product look cheaper, or you can include the shipping into your product cost if you can afford it and your margins allow it. For me, my margins allow it, so I just input it as free shipping, and I just go along with that. I cannot offer these options for any of my products, so I don't bother with it. And uh, that's pretty much how I set up my shipping on Amazon. Thanks.